Hi, this is Phil Hinton. Welcome back to part two of our video with THX on the, the video side of things, how you, you certify uh, video displays. And uh, we're in your little test lab here right. uh, with lots of impressive equipment behind us. So maybe you can explain uh, some of the other things that, that you do test for. We've covered the color gamuts and the grayscales right. and so on. So what else do you test for? Well, then we get into the moving images and the video processing and the scaling, right? So one of the things that's uh, paramount importance is how well the TV can uh, eliminate jaggies, which is when you have diagonal or curved lines, the TV may make steps on those lines and they should be smoother than, than they might otherwise appear. So our pattern has a, uh, was, was custom created for THX and then has a, a numbered scale on it so we can get a definitive number that they need to pass or get close to to see how the Jaggies are doing. And it sort of uh, mimics the old American flag uh, image yeah. of these stripes wagging in the wind and de uh, developing Jaggies. So this, this new test that you've had developed, it actually gives you a, an objective number to aim for then? Right, right. We can tell them it's supposed to get a certain number and then they have a set of these patterns at their office. So they can start to tune the video processing circuits before it comes here. And it, sometimes the certain chips won't pass and they have to put in ones that have enough hooks that they can tweak filtering uh, to get the, the curves on Jaggies right or uh, eliminate uh, artifact in zone plates. Zone plates are pretty uh, good tools to see what's going on with high frequency processing on moving objects. So this is the, the Jaggies test that, right. that, that you were on about. So maybe just to explain it in a little bit more detail for us. Sure. Well, this test has curves, and it has three sections of it. One is a, a black and white high contrast section, and that's the server restarting the pattern. The next section is a red and white stripe, which goes back to what people are used to seeing in older images. Yeah. And then the bottom part is a checkerboard. So. What the checkerboard can show is when there's artifacts in the processing, uh, there will be blockiness in the checkerboard instead of being just a, a smooth uh, ripple. It'll have spots where it looks odd. The stripes then stop, hopefully stop having a, a jagged edge somewhere along this curve. And the further down the curve it goes, the better the processing is for the jaggies. This, pattern is a pair of zone plates rotating around. And what it is is concentric circles that go further out to the edge, and they're smaller and smaller. Yeah. Uh, it's commonly used to see if there's fall off in high frequency detail. And when p images move, a lot of times they try to uh, reduce the high frequency detail because they don't feel you can see it. And then that's kind of subpar processing. Yeah. But in this case, we're able to see the lines all the way out to the edge as they move around in circles. Well, this uh, is a waveform monitor for the digital signal that's feeding the display. And in this case, it's showing us that it has a component that's moving, which is a gray dot. And then there's a red and green line in the image. So it's at these two video levels. If I was to pick the colors, we see that there's only red uh, sorry, red and only green in the image. So even though it looks yellow, it's the optical illusion of creating yellow. And that's how a TV that uh, uses RG and B can make a yellow image. So Eric, there's lots of tests that you do here covering the whole spectrum of what a TV should be able to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess the, the most important thing for people buying a TV is what? You know, what I would say is, um, you know, to look at all the different TVs and then if the TVs that have a THX motor available in your, uh, the size and price range you're looking for, consider it highly. Uh, they will work well in, in the dark room with the movie mode and then they'll work better in a bright room using our new bright room mode. The um, THX standard kind of gives you a, a guidepost so you can look at across some different manufacturers' products and be assured that the 
that the image from those GHX TVs will be very, very similar. Okay, well, we hope you've enjoyed our look at the THX certification process. Thank you very much, Eric. It's well, been a pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you.